It isn't every day students get to visit the state's largest outdoor classroom, but busloads of children from elementary to high school visit the State Fair of Virginia each year to do just that. The fair has put together an education exposition for the last 25 years, giving approximately 10,000 students across the state a chance to learn about Virginia's largest industry and experience lessons geared toward the state's standards of learning. The experience of the State Fair, they come, they learn, they have a good time, and that's part of the State Fair, but the educational part is just so very worthwhile. The, so there are so many that young people who are from urban areas see things they have never seen before between the animals, the horticulture, the agriculture, and that the children or the students who are from more of the rural parts of the state see the importance of what their community is about and what their families do and what they learn about. So we cover a full gamut of educational opportunities. We brought our sixth grade students and we were the math teachers that organized the trip. So we made math type activities and we just study ratios for one thing. So they have to find out like the ratio of boys to girls in their group and then the ratio of cow uh, cows to uh, calves and chickens to ducks and all, uh, all kinds of things. Students at the fair always enjoy looking at the different animals. Sometimes they even have the opportunity to watch a live calf being born at the dairy birthing barn. The many exhibits and live demonstrations make learning fun and a great adventure. It's a wonderful opportunity for school groups from all over the state, and I do mean all over the state because we get them from all over the state, to come. We have the SOLs in the field trip planning so the teachers can plan ahead because we do zero in on the SOLs so these teachers can fulfill a lot of the SOLs that are there, the natural resources, heritage vision, village, and of course the wonderful agriculture part of the state fair. Our student body draws from a very like high density uh, suburban area. We're in Prince William County outside of Washington and I would bet a lot of these students have never seen farm, uh, seen farm animals up close before. I heard a lot of comments when we walked in here about the smell, and I'm thinking, this is nothing, you know? <laughs> they probably have no idea that their food starts someplace other than the grocery store. And to be able to see it here and see how things are grown and how animals are raised and where milk comes from, and, you know, that's got to be a great experience for them. Young McDonald's Farm is one of 15 educational exhibits at the fair. Other stops include forestry and natural resources, as well as peanuts, tobacco, cotton, and honey. Just about every farm commodity grown in Virginia has an exhibit at the fair. Students get to see poultry and livestock, as well as amazing examples of horticulture, including a giant pumpkin weighing more than 1,200 pounds. It's a day out of the classroom to enjoy learning about agriculture while making fond new memories. Teachers can start booking their trip each summer on the fair's website. From Caroline County, this is Dave Miller reporting.